the moon holds the running technique secret that will prove everyone else wrong and me right. You will see the effect that the lighter pull of gravity on the moon has on running compared to the heavier pull of gravity on Earth. If you could push yourself forward, as they say, you would be so fast on the moon that it would take one second to do a hundred meter sprint. We all know that you run slower on the moon than on Earth, which proves that it is impossible to push yourself forward to walk, run, and sprint. You never actually push even though you try. On the moon, a level stride would look more stretched out than on Earth. A level stride begins with the foot landing ahead of your upper body's center of balance. The foot stays in place while the top of the leg carries a vertical or tilted body from behind the foot to in front of the foot. Momentum keeps you going against a slight slowdown until you reach the vertical point. Momentum and gravity picks up the speed you lost. The speed pickup takes place from the center position takeoff time ahead of center. Sprinting on the moon would look like slow motion. You can jump high, but gravity will not pull you forward fast. You can see that the foot lands ahead of the body and takes off behind the body. Something you should know that contradicts your experts is that the quadricep muscles pull across the knee to absorb the landing and toss you up for the entire time the foot is on the ground. The quadricep muscles pull the lower leg forward to lift while the leg rolls forward on the ankle and the foot. The foot can't be pulled back against the quadricep muscles. The gluteus muscles work hard to pull the body back when it lurches forward at landing. That is why the experts think it is working hard to pull the foot back. You pick up speed with each step for a few strides to reach a level pace. The landing takes place behind the upper body center and takes off farther behind. You can see it by running a few steps forward and backward. Notice that you drop your feet behind to run forward and drop them out front to run backward. When you run slowly, the foot gets flipped back a little and gets flipped farther back and high as the speed increases. In a sprint, it flips back and all the way up before you can reverse it. You have to do a body twist as hard as you can in a sprint to try to cut off the follow through of the foot and bring the foot forward as fast as you can. Otherwise, your sense of balance will not let you get far off balance for speed. For the first step in a sprint, without starting blocks, you need to get low. The body should be close to being horizontal and the knees bent. That way you can straighten the leg to push the body forward for one step. Staying low gets your body ahead faster than falling from an upright position. An upright position makes you try to push the foot back. To exchange the feet fast in a sprint, you need to do a body twist as hard as you can. In the body twist, the shoulder and opposite leg push the hip from opposite sides, keeping the hip from rotating. That way the hip is a solid platform to push the foot 
forward. Deliberately lengthening the stride prevents you from going any faster than a slow walk. The body twist is used to shorten the stride. You do it easy for slower running and a little harder for faster running. You need to do it as hard as you can in a sprint. You can see that the leg acts like a vaulting pole. The foot stays still on the ground while the top of the leg carries the body from behind the foot to in front of the foot. The only difference is that the leg can jump to keep you from falling all the way down. The jump lifts you straight up while only gravity pulls you forward. 